The Honest Woodcutter Once upon a time, in a tranquil village surrounded by a dense forest, there lived a diligent woodcutter named John. He was known throughout the village for his strong work ethic, honesty, and good-natured spirit. John lived in a cozy cottage with his elderly mother, Maria. Every day, as the first rays of the sun touched the treetops, John would set out into the vast forest with his trusty axe and a basket. His job was to cut down trees for firewood and collect enough to sustain his small family during the cold winter months. One sunny morning, as John was about to start his work, he noticed a shimmering object partially buried in the forest floor. Curiosity got the best of him, and he dug it out. To his astonishment, he found a small, ornate bronze lamp. It was covered in dirt and tarnished, but John could see its potential value. He decided to take it home, hoping to clean it up and make it a decoration for his cottage. Back at his cottage, John carefully scrubbed the lamp with a cloth, and suddenly, a puff of smoke billowed from it. Startled, John watched in amazement as a magical genie materialized before him. I am the genie of the lamp, the mystical being proclaimed. I am here to grant you three wishes for your kind-heartedness in releasing me from my confinement. John was stunned but composed himself and replied, I'm grateful for your offer, but I don't need anything for myself. My family has enough and I am content with my life. However, my mother is aging, and she's been struggling with her eyesight. It would mean the world to me if you could restore her vision. The genie nodded in agreement and waved his hand, and in an instant, Maria's eyesight was miraculously restored. Tears of joy streamed down her face as she looked around her home and saw her son's face clearly for the first time in years. For John's second wish, he asked the genie, My village often faces droughts in the summer, leading to crop failures. Please grant my village the blessing of abundant rainfall so that our crops can thrive. The genie granted his wish, promising regular, nourishing rain for the village's fields. John's fellow villagers were overjoyed when they saw their crops flourishing like never before. Now, it was time for John's third and final wish. He turned to the genie and said, I wish to return the lamp to you, for I am content with what you have already granted me. I have everything I need a loving family, a prosperous village, and the satisfaction of an honest day's work. The genie, impressed by John's selflessness, accepted the lamp and disappeared back inside it. Before leaving, he thanked John for his kindness and generosity. As the years passed, John continued his diligent work as a woodcutter. He and his mother lived a happy and fulfilling life, and the village thrived with the blessings of the genie's reign. John's story became legendary in the village, a testament to the rewards of honesty, selflessness, and contentment. And so, the woodcutter's story of the honest and selfless man who had the chance to have everything but chose to be content with what he already had served as an enduring reminder to all that true wealth is found not in material possessions but in the kindness and generosity of the heart.